guys, it is YSB0 here and today I'm going to be showing you how to connect your PS3 controller to your Android device. So here we go. Just one disclaimer, this only works with rooted devices, so please make sure your device is rooted otherwise this is probably not going to work for you. So first of all you want to head over to your Android device and you want to go to the Play Store or the link in the description. You want to type in 6axis into the Play Store. Once you've done that, you want to install 6axis controller. Now this is a paid app unfortunately, or if some of you guys know how to get around that, I'm not sure how, you guys are crazy sometimes. Um, yeah, so you need to install that application. Once you've got that installed, you want to head over to the bottom right of that screen on the application and it should say local Bluetooth device number so it has the number there and you're going to need to keep that into account in your mind or take it down or just leave it there and we'll use it a little bit later so now you want to go into your desktop and what you what i want you to do is go into the link in the description and you're ne going to need to install the six axis pair controller tool and once you've got that installed you want to now plug in your PS3 controller. Also a good tip is um, unplug your PS3 because sometimes these controllers tend to link up from quite far away if you turn them on with the PS button that we're about to do. One more thing is try to use an original Sony PS3 controller, it's more likely to work. I've seen them work on the Chinese brand ones as well, but the original ones seem to have the best success rate. So here I'm just gonna plug in my USB right there I'm going to get my PS3 controller and I'm going to plug it in right there there we go and those lights are flashing nicely I'm just gonna head over to our computer now I'm going to click double click on the 6 axis pair tool and as you can see it is paired nicely on our desktop and now we want to get our Android tablet or phone or whatever device you You can see our controller up here all working nicely, all plugged in. And now we want to get our Android tablet or phone or whatever device you have. So here I've got my Android device. Let's just turn it on. And as you can see it says local Bluetooth address. And now we want to go into the success as pair tool connected on our desktop and when you want to press change master so I'm just going to type in 7 actually I'm going to block this out for you guys just in case make sure to put the colons in when you're doing it so once you've done that you want to click update bada bing bada boom you've got your master changed to your tablets now so you can go ahead and close and press cancel just press update one more time just to be sure and your ps3 controller should now connect to your android device and uh the audio might sound a little bit off it'll be on my camera um parts of this video should sound a little bit weird but uh, i'm going to show you how to link it up on your tablet now one disclaimer for this thing is once you've changed the master on your ps3 controller on your console if you try to connect this controller again as in you try to press the PS button to start your PS3 console up, then it probably won't work. You'll have to turn it on and then plug the cable in from your controller to your PS3 and the PS3 will change the master once more to itself for the Bluetooth connection. Alright, so we've got my PS3 controller. Sorry guys. And we've got my tablet. So we're going to want to press the start button press toggling, it will attempt to look for it, listening for controllers, I'm gonna press the middle PS button once, and it's listening for the controller, as you can see here it should be flashing, there you go, should be listening for controller, client 1 connected, battery state is high, it's worked, perfect, there we go, so we've connected our controller to our tablet or your mobile device so I'm just gonna exit out here I'm gonna show you guys that it actually works um, let me open up an app okay let's open up trade me and I'm going to press the PS button 
and there, it's gone. So um, I'm just going to show you guys a quick game uh, if you guys want to see that. Sick. So that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure you go and check out my website, ystech.ga, y-s-t-e-c-h.ga, and we'll find all my latest videos on there in correspondence with Bizito and all the other things I've made in recent times. Make sure you check out my next video that's coming out, and it should be how to play PlayStation Portable games on your Android tablet. Now this one's pretty cool, and you can use this tutorial in correspondence with it. So that's pretty much it. Make sure you smash that like button, comment below what I could do better, or things for the future you'd like to see. Thank you very much once again, and I hope you have an awesome day. There we go.